Uh, how's it going crew? This is Happy Days and welcome back to our Terraria 1.3 Expert Mode Let's Play. In the last episode we just finished setting up our Rod of Discord farm and it would be really nice if we could get that um, because with that item we will be able to give the Duke Fisheron a run for its money. Um, I would rather get it before we fight it. Um, when I was doing the Serena playthrough, it's surprising how many times I discorded through its tornadoes and it just saved me. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's go back to the farm and see if we can't get that little pink rod of amazingness. And here we are, still down in the Rod of Discord farm. And I don't know if you can tell from the changes to the farm, but uh, I've made a few adjustments. <laughs> I added a, um, I added a little uh, patch of mud so I could grow some jungle grass. Um, it's not much, but um, when you look at the spawning mechanics in Terraria, um, having jungle underground actually increases the frequency and speed of which mobs can spawn. Um, so underground hello has high spawn rates, um, but underground jungle has just a slightly higher chance to spawn mobs each second. Um, and you can probably tell that by the absolute tons of mobs that are spawning all the time. Uh, also what I've done is I've got teleporters going and I found a lot of mobs were spawning underneath and I was just letting the traps kill them, but uh, you know, I, it was I, you know, there could have been loot dropping down there and I was going for little runs down but the traps were hurting me and I didn't like it. And this way is much nicer because I can just sit in the box and the loot's falling on my head. <laughs> I've got all banners up because, yeah, we've killed lots of mobs. And you know you've been here a while when you've got an enchanted sword banner <laughs> because they're pretty rare. Um, but the Chaos Elementals are spawning quickly enough. Um, so yeah, so hopefully it's not too much longer. God. Oh my god! Oh the front of Discord! I can't believe it. Whoop! Whoop, whoop, whoop. No! Mimic! No! No! <laughs> don't do it! No! No, I don't wanna I wanna enjoy the victory! Don't I don't wanna fight! I don't want I don't wish to fight you. I want to enjoy the Discordness. <laughs> well, I'm going to kill this mimic because it's not going to take this moment away from me. Do you want to hear something amazing? Like, seriously. This, you're not going to believe this, right? So, I was farming. I think you can tell from all the additions to my base. I was farming for four hours. I'm not kidding. I was playing my iPad. I was sitting here. I was singing badly. And, and, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Whoop, 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 whoop. Whoop, 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 whoop
I care. Yes! Oh, no, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is so good. Oh, I want to go look at all the loot that we've acquired in our journey. <laughs> Can I get him without dying? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's take stock here. One rod of discord. One loot box. Two, three, four, <laughs> five. <laughs> Almost six boxes of loot. <laughs> we've got over 3,000. No, it's not over 9,000 souls of light. And all the banners. Oh my gosh, this is just crazy. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Oh my goodness. I love Discord. It's such an awesome item. Um, now that we've got the rod of Discord, I'm happy to start preparing for the Duke Fish Run fight. Which, <laughs> thanks in the comments, a lot of you have said I'm going to get smashed by a Duke Fish Run. Especially being in expert mode, Duke Fish Run. But, um,. That's okay, I, I love a challenge. So, what I'd like to do, I'm pretty sure I've got a solidifier. I think it's in here, yeah. Okay, so what I'd like to do is make some asphalt blocks. So, let's put him down there now. Let's see, I'm pretty sure... Gosh, is it? Yeah, there it is. So, two stone and a gel makes an asphalt block. Cool. Now, unfortunately, I think I had the, the genius idea of changing most of my stone. Oh no, there's some normal stone. I think I changed a lot of it into bricks, but I changed a few, but I do have quite a few stone blocks still, which is good, which is good. Okay, so let's go to Mr. Solidifier and... Hey! I thought you made... What? What am I missing? And I know the guy that just, it just would have said what crafting station, but I always zoom ahead. Because I get excited. I can't help it. <laughs> Gel, stone block, asphalt, a blend, oh. Do you know, I did this last time. <laughs> I've done this before. I'm like, all right, I've got everything. And then I was trying to make asphalt at the solidifier. And, oh my God. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so, um, I like to fight Duke Fishron in more of an arena rather than just doing that asphalt runway thing that a lot of players do, which, don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with it. It's a valid strategy, it works against him. I just think he's such an awesome boss. He's got two forms, he's got a myriad of attacks that are just awesome and really requires skill to dodge. Um, you know, Rod of Discord is such a fun thing to use during the fight because if you get backed into a corner, you can just teleport through his Sharknados and things like that. It's just, I love to fight him. I think he's an awesome boss and I relish how hard he's about to be. So what we'll do is make our way to the ocean and yeah, I think we'll start setting up an arena. And I'll probably use just some asphalt and I'm fairly sure I'll probably do it similar to the Serena series where we used a few teleporters and I'm interested we don't have the blah, 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 blah. we don't have the party girl moves in I don't believe because I want to try this bubble this bubble block trick that everyone's talking about and you pour the honey in the bubbles and then you can just run through them so <laughs> I don't feel like building extra rooms, like stylish rooms at the moment, but I could, I could just whack up some temporary rooms just to try and get it to move in. And so we're going to build some temporary houses for, uh, just to get the party girl moved in, moved in. And also it's a good chance just to get any other NPCs that may be waiting as well. So I'm just going to make it really simple and what I'll probably do is, as uh, we do build some more buildings, build some more buildings, <laughs> um, I will uh, actually dismantle this area to the side here. So if you watch my weekly wire series, you can actually make ridiculously simple NPC houses using um, very minimum uh, requirements. So basically, for an NPC to happily live in a house, 
They just need five blocks wide with two platforms and one block in the middle. So at night time, they just need a block to stand on. That's all they ask for. Three, four, five. And then you need 12 blocks high. And that is a five times 12, it equals 60 blocks, which is the requirement for an NPC house. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Beautiful. Okay, and we'll just close that all up like so. And then for furniture, because it's a compact little space, you just put a crafting table and a chair. There we go, lovely. And then the last thing we need is just some wally walls in there. And life will be sweet for our new NPC to live in their little box. I might paint it. <laughs> it looks a bit drab. There we go. Lovely. And if we check that with the NPC... Oh, look at that, guys. Suitable. Not very nice to live in, but suitable. Cool. There we go. And torch. So that's four new houses. Oh, Steampunk has already moved in. She mustn't have had a house. And here we are at a lovely day on the beach, ready to start building our Fishy Fisher on Arena. And so here we are and I'm pretty happy with how it's turned out. So what I've done is just, yeah, alternated the... Ooh, traveling merchant. I've just alternated the flowers and the campfires and the heart lanterns, all that good stuff. And I've got little exit points where if I need to get out of the way of a tornado, I can quickly drop. Although I noticed my head just bounced on that, so might need to make it a little bit wider. So let, let's try that. So if I'm running along, need to get out of the way of a tornado. Yeah, that's better. That's better. So they just needed to be a tiny bit wider. That's cool. But anyway, so yeah, actually let's make it nice and even. So I'll wind that one on that side. Cool, 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 cool. All right, uh, the other thing I was thinking I would do is set up a temporary little house here near our fishing uh, spot. In fact, I should just put a little bit of a... There we go, that's nice. Uh, I was just going to make a quick little temporary uh, palm house here. Because I suspect... <laughs> I suspect we might die once or twice against Mr. Fishron. <laughs> because he's really tough. Um, but yeah, look... You know, so I'm not going to make anything fancy here, so I'm not doing a speed build. It's just a quick little, oh my gosh, I died again, and I can respawn in the house. So yeah, so let's make a nice little palm wood crafting table. I might actually put a chair because that will spawn an NPC, which we don't want. Alright, let's get some doors happening here. Okay, where is the door doors? Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's make room happy. Come on. There we go. <laughs> and we just need some walls. How lovely. Our little home of regeneration is almost complete. Oh, look at this, guys. Fancy. Now, I was thinking of adding the, uh, the teleporters to the arena. I'm not sure... If we need them. I've got another Nimbus, by the way. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Now, I know this chest is a different color, but it'll be okay. It'll be okay. Alright, let's put the asphalt in there for now. So, I need to go back to base and uh, get some silk to make a bed. And grab some potions. And then, I think that's pretty much it. Now, I looked at the respawning... Oh, respawning the chance of the party girl spawning and it's only like four, 1 in 40 for each new day which is terrible <laughs> I should have built the extra houses earlier but that's in the past guys so we can only do what we can do so I think I'll stick with my usual uh, honey hammered blocks 
but if you think about it, we can make the um, honey bubbles later on in our adventure. They'll still be useful. We will still use them. There we go. So the time has come. Let's go and pick up some potions and get some honey. And our arena is almost finished. And thank you to everyone that was telling me that I thought I was... I was wondering why I was getting so many uh, potions and I forgot I was standing right next to an alchemy table. Which, you know, they're brand new, so yeah, I wasn't ready for it. There we go. So let's... Zilfia. I'll just sell those. Specular fish are used for recall potions, I'm fairly sure. So I don't really need them. Uh, don't need those. Don't need clubber fish. Let's open up our crates. Tsunami calming potion. No. no, I'll keep that just in case. I've already got a tsunami. Gentleman bait's useful and I'll keep the silver bars. Excellent. So, let's see. What can we make? So we can make wrath potions. Oh yeah, so I got one bonus one then from uh, the alchemy table. That's cool. Alright, endurance use the armored cave fish. So I've got quite a few of them. So let's, let's make them all. Alright, so we're up to 17. That, well, that's awesome. Okay, I've got 8 of the variegated lard fish. And I got 9 potions out of it. Wow, I love the alchemy table. Oh no, I ran out of the other ingredients. I've got moon glow. Oh, I'm just out of water bottles. Die. Die. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I need some sand. Boy. <laughs> oh goodness. Oh no, I'm out of sand! Ah! Panic in the streets! <laughs> Have we got even sand? Or pearl sand? I could just contaminate it. Nope. That's a negatory. Do you know what though? We do live right near a desert, so I could grab something quickly. So let's just... Do a bit of discording. Take some damage. Just so I can get there quicker. Okay. So what I can do is just dig up some of this beautiful sand. It's like a little sand quarry here, it's awesome. So anytime I need some extra sand I can just come here and dig it. It looks wicked by the way with the hallowed vines growing over the hallowed desert. I, I really like that. That might make a cool house in a future playthrough. Excellent. Alright, that should do it. Now I'm not sure... Can you turn pearl sand into glass? You can. Oh good, I was worried I was going to have to muck around. Um, yeah, I thought I was going to have to muck around like trans, you know, uh, changing it to normal sand first, but apparently not. And let's get lots of nice new water bottles. Beautiful. And we should be good now, so let's put those back in. And make some more potions. Okay, where was I up to? I was making summoning potions. Okay. Uh, don't need warmth yet. No. Archery. I'm probably going to try the Mega Shark first. Um, yeah, probably going to start with the Mega Shark. Oh my gosh, we have so much potion stuff now. <laughs> it's awesome. Uh, swiftness. Cactus, blink root, yeah. Alright, let's make a few of those. There we go. Couple more of them. Now, regen potions. Day bloom and mushrooms. I've only got 12 mushrooms left. Alright, let's just make them all. Oh my gosh, how many extras did we get out of that? That's amazing. Alright, so we've got iron skins, regen, summoning, endurance, wrath. That's pretty good. I'm happy with those. Guys, we're almost ready. The only other thing we need, and I guess it's kind of obvious, is some truffle worms. <laughs> Not going to be summoning many fish runs without truffle worms. <laughs> and thanks so much as always for watching another episode of our Expert Mode Let's Play. I'm having a lot of fun with this series guys, and I'm actually going to keep recording now. And uh, just because I want to fight Duke Fisher on them, it's really fun. And I understand this episode was a little late today, and I hope you can appreciate that Rod of Discord farming takes forever. Like, forever. <laughs> oh my god. But I think you guys know by now, I like to do everything on camera, and yeah, I just love the challenge of it. So, look, it did take a bit longer, but now we have the 
uh, Discord. It'll really help with the expert mode jigfish run. So, uh, with that said, it is time, as always, for some shoutouts. And let's see what people have asked me to say today. So our first one is a movie reference, and it is from Toby the Ninja 1. Just in case you were confused with more Toby the Ninjas. Is there more of you, Toby? Oh my gosh. Again, he's asked me to say in a Terminator voice, Hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> oh, goodness. I reckon that'd be a hilarious thing to do. Like, say you walked into class or just some random room and you just pulled that out. <laughs> Hasta la vista. <laughs> People would be like, what on earth are you doing? Okay, our next one is from the... the bleh, bleh, is from Tongue Tied Happy. Is from the Quad Project HD. And they've asked... They've asked me to and all of us to wish him luck for surgery, fellow cookie monsters. So he must be having surgery. So I hope it all goes good for you. And yeah, it's never nice when, you know, there's stuff wrong with your body and, you know, but hopefully it fixes you and yeah, it's nothing too serious. So good luck for that quad project and have some cookies. Uh, next one's from Fun Fact. Fun Fact? I'm pretty, sh- I'm pretty sure it's Fun Fact. It looks Irish. It's F... F-U-N-F-A-I-C. Fun fake? Something like that. And he's asked... Oh, it's an ASDF reference. He's asked me to say in a tutorial voice, If you guys are having trouble defeating the Martian Saucer, I have one solution that is going to work every time. Throw the cheese! <laughs> oh, I love that scene. It's so funny. And then it just shows the little saucer with like bits of cheese hitting it. <laughs> okay. R3 DCs asked me to say in a nerdy voice, um, which is kind of hard because I'm a bit of a nerd, so maybe I could just say it in my own voice, but I know that you're probably not the stereotypical nerd, so he's asked me to say I've got cat-like speed and reflexes. (laughs) (laughs) Nice one, R3. That's awesome. And our last one is from, oh my goodness, sometimes your names, uh, I'm not sure if there's an accent with it, so it looks like Rachel Goo. But the last surname is just G-U. So it could be Rakal Zhu as well. So I'm not too sure on that one. Anyway, they've asked me to say, Happy, happy, I am snappy. Five times really fast. <gasps> happy, happy, I am snappy. happy. <laughs> I got through one. I got through one. Yes, one. Awesome. Okay, thanks so much as always for watching. And as I said, the next episode will be out. What's the time? Looking at my clock. It's 3.30 here in Australia at p.m., So I'm going to take a quick break and then start working on the next episode straight away. So I'm not guaranteeing a time, but it will be up relatively soon, possibly within the next mm, five to ten hours. So stay tuned for that. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Sorry about the delay again. I do try my best for you amazing people. So have some cookies. (laughs) And um, yeah, so leave a like if you've enjoyed it. Uh, I'm having so much fun. I can't wait to fight some of the later bosses in the game. It's going to be amazing. Uh, keep those comments coming. Ooh, and next episode, we need to do a straw poll. We need to decide what the new character is going to be for our next Let's Play. Um, because I think Gavin's series is getting close to the end. I think Expert Mode, this, this Let's Play, is getting a little bit close to the end. So we need to start thinking about it. So that can be our... No, that won't be our question because we'll do a poll on it. (laughs) But um, yeah, so keep those suggestions coming in. And uh, the last thing is, if you haven't subscribed yet, click that little HD icon and join us here and have lots of fun with us together. We do lots of cool things on this channel and everyone's really nice here. So you won't be disappointed. Okay, until next time, you guys stay happy and I'll see you soon. This is Happy Day signing out. See ya. And that means that ectoplasm will be, yeah, getting farmed nicely. And you can see that was dead easy to set up that. So the mobs can cruise up the sides. The mimics can get in, which is one of the main things. Yeah, we've got lots of good loot. Just, just oh, he's got 3,000 health! He's only got 3,000!